This is downtown Newport. Downtown Newport. Downtown Newport. Downtown Newport. Downtown Newport, everybody. Be out here. Walking around. Chilling. But, let's get to the video. It's Ty Army Gang, 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 Gang. What's good? Yeah, man. What's going on? So, like, I mean, like, I just want to talk about a topic that people might not understand certain things, you know? I want to talk about a topic while I'm down here. It's about, you know, the difference between childhood, having a childhood, and, you know, having a childhood moment. Sorry, y'all. The truck. See, one thing I like about my videos is live. See, truck driving. But, I wanted to say this. It's definitely definitely a difference between definitely a difference between I'm gonna sit right here real quick because I don't want too much noise right now we at this old church building or church building it says first congregational church in Newport so we just sitting by the church. Just wanna, you know, talk about something real quick. Okay, y'all can see me better because it is better than that before. So I just wanna talk about, you know, it's a difference between having a childhood moment and having, you know, just having a childhood. Childhood moments is something I had. Growing up. Childhood moments is basically saying like you just gotta look at the, the obvious, like going out somewhere nice for a moment or going outside to the park, having a little moment of you know doing some fun activities and and stuff like that. That's the moments I had. I had little moments of having a childhood. Having just having a childhood period is basically, you know, mostly having, you know, a great time in your life. Childhood also could be bad too. But childhood is mostly having more good than bad. Childhood moments is just having a little bit of good and mostly bad. So I had childhood moments, you know, going to, um, I could say Six Flags, Hershey Park. Um, Donnie Park, those type of moments, you know. I had went to Splish, Splish Bash, um, Coney Island, because I'm from Brooklyn. Coney Island over there. Coney Island upgraded, so shout out to um, Coney Island. Um, what else I can say? Going to the beach for the moments. Like, little moments like that that have you, like, remember the stuff. Or you running around with your sister or doing things. You know, with your, you know, little cousins when you were young. 
those type of moments. Childhood is basically something you could always remember with your parents. And stuff that you can do with your parents, family, friends, whatever. Moments like mine was, you know, with some little friends and family and and I and I was a foster child, so foster children, you know, is different. Some of us don't have, you know, the fun like every other kid have. Some kids have the great time, you know, and people that brag about having a good time, it makes a person like, you know, upset because they didn't have the wonderful, you know, childhood or they had, you know, so. But I'm going to talk about part one, two, and three about foster care. This is not the topic about that, but I'm just talking about childhood memories, childhood moments. The childhood moments is always the precious thing ever. You never know, you know. You want to talk to your friends. When you sit down with your friends and ask them or family what was your best time you had as a child. I could name a little bit, but I can't name a lot because I really didn't have a great childhood. So, you know what I mean, I had to grow up fast. That was my childhood. I had to grow up fast. I didn't know a difference between consistence, being stable, always this and that. In the beginning, I did when my Aunt Hattie was I mean, alive. My grandmother still alive. She's still alive. She's um, 85, turning 86 this year. So, shout outs to my grandma. You know, and um, she's 85, she'll be 86 this year. Um, I'll be 30 years old this year. What else? My mother, you know, I ain't have too much memories of my mother because I was in a foster home, but I did have some great little moments with her when I was around her, you know, building snowmans together. I remember when it snowed and we used to kick snow at each other, just playing around. And she, like, put me in the snow. We over here rolling in the snow. We looking like two. Like, I'm a kid, and my mother looking like a big kid <laughs> that's rolling around in the snow. But it was, a, you know, memories like that will never fade because I remember those moments, you know. That's a childhood moment for me, you know. But like I said, I had to grow up fast. I had to look at things differently. And the people that actually had to grow up fast can't could relate to me because I mean they're not gonna have the same story as me but I know it's gonna be something similar or worse and they had to do what they had to do to grow up fast to you know get what you gotta get done at, at nine years old I, I learned how to work you know what I mean that's when I started to work six years old I started getting my own allowance from six to nine from nine years old before I went to um Brooklyn to my foster mother house, I started learning how to work, and that's how I knew how to work. I worked at this person's um, place. Um, he had twin boys, so he's like, that was their, um, he was the father, but he was my step, um, my foster uncle, so I was working at his business with them in the summertime, making money, and I did it for like, you know, for the summer, and that was the only time I actually knew how to make my own money like that. Then after that, I just wanted to make my own. And then that's when I moved to Brooklyn and stuff like that. But just enjoy. I'm going to tell all the kids out there, don't grow up too fast. I know, you know, some parents might not want to hear this. But, you know, you got to spend time with your kids. You got to endure when you have. And that's why I want to teach my kids to enjoy your childhood. I want to make sure they have a better childhood than I had. Because I ain't know what the heck is a childhood is. I had childhood moments. I want them to have a wonderful childhood. A better childhood than me. A better, you know, I don't want them to say moments. Because moments is not going to always, you know, it's the good moments. But I want them to remember their childhood so they can always talk about it every day. Towards me or their mother or, you know, their cousins or whoever, you know, they feel comfortable talking about their childhood. Friends, when they get older, in a relationship, when they get older... You know what I mean? And they can look back and actually say, Daddy and Mommy really did the best for me, you know, having a great, you know, childhood for me. And that's why I want from, you know, kids nowadays to speak their mind and actually talk about topics like this because when, I want to know in the comment section down below, what was your greatest ch about your childhood? Did you have childhood moments like me? Or did you have, um... A great childhood.
Because childhood, it, it leads to, you know, growing up to be the best person you can be. If you had a worse childhood and childhood moments like me, you, you could change it and make it to something better if you had a great childhood and hoping that your kids have don't grow up to have a worse childhood. But sometimes people have a good childhood at a young age and then their kids have nothing. So you got to make sure your kids will have the same, you know, childhood as you. But if, you're, if your childhood is just like mine or one, you want them to have better. You want them to see them to have a great, better childhood than you had. And it's not just, you know, and you teaching them along the way. And you teaching yourself as you teaching them. So you, it's like a teamwork effort. Y'all work together. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, okay? Because it's not easy to have those type of moments. You got to have a good support system. I ain't had a good support system like that, you know, growing up. I, I do got a little better than now. I mean... Things is, you know, changing up for the better for me. And I thank the Heavenly King Father and Brother for, you know, allowing that to see that. And I'm not going to let nobody come in here and just try to destroy that, you know. But I'm still learning as I still grow. I'm not perfect. But I want to show that my kids have, like, I didn't have, you know, some things that I wish that I could have had. I didn't go to none of my proms. I don't know how that feels. Like, I don't know how it feels to go in a Lamborghini with friends and, and have fun. I didn't know how it felt to go down an aisle on a cat um, when I got graduated. Besides, when I was eight, um, eighth grade, sixth grade wasn't really that great for me, sixth grade. And the only prom I ever went to in my whole life was when I was six, in the sixth grade, when I graduated. You know what I mean? There's some things I could tell you about my childhood. Like, I wish I could know how that felt like. I don't know how that felt like. I remember my teachers and, and my classmates and, and the people in there were so upset that I couldn't enjoy this moment with them. And they kind of felt bad. You know, I could tell you stories and stories about me. But it is what it is. And that's why I want to make sure they, my kids could enjoy that moment that I didn't have. I want to give them that and more because they deserve to see those type of moments that I didn't have. So what kind of childhood moment did you have? Or what did you have a great, you know, childhood or your childhood moment or you just had a bad childhood? Just put it down in the comment section below because we want to, I want to hear y'all. And it's good to open up to talk about this because we want our kids, if y'all have kids, I know some of y'all do, some of y'all don't, but when y'all do have kids, I want y'all to look back at this video and hear me out clearly. And the people that got kids and that can understand what I'm saying, I'm hoping that you can do for the best for the kids because that's what we're trying to do. So what is your childhood moment? That's the question. What is your childhood moment? Did you have a good childhood or you had a childhood moment? That's a good, that's a question right there. That's the difference between having a childhood and having a childhood moment. So that's all I got to say here about this, you know, topic about that. We're sitting in front of a congregation church in Newport. Like I said, I showed y'all and please, Lord, forgive me for my sins. If I said anything that I shouldn't say. Please forgive me if I'm speaking the truth. I'm hoping that I could um, speak knowledge to everybody and gain everybody. And that's all we got to do. We're just trying to, you know, hope for the best and let people see we're in. Because we're not here to judge nobody. We're here to grow. We're here to grow and help others to understand that we're not alone. we got to connect in this world to better. You know what I mean? If something we're doing wrong, please let us know so we can do better. We here to work as a community, as a union. If we don't work together, we never going to get anywhere. So we got to do that, okay? So it's time on me, gang, 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 gang. And we signing out. I'll see y'all later. I love y'all so much. And write down in the comment section below, what do you got? A good childhood moment? Those childhood little moments? Or you just had a great childhood? That you can sit back and talk.
to your peoples and prayers and everything about. Just hit it down below. Love y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.